This is going to be a weekly recap from the 24th to the 28th, or really, it is going to be the 25th to the 27th, uh, because of the fact that I am working on, yeah, I'm working on Monday and I'm working on Friday, so I'm not able to trade on those two days unless I do something that is um, long term, but I did it up being profitable, $14, and that was with 755 dollars of volume so um, dollar volume making that just under two percent the score could have been better because i had this one trade here that really didn't work out and i think that if i have at least three day trades i'll do a weekly recap otherwise i'm not going to do a weekly recap if it's just one or two trades because i just don't think there's enough trades to go over um, to summarize them besides the videos that i make every day on the trades that I do make on that day so that in mind let's go ahead and go over the trade starting with SIV BQ and this is on the 25th so it's a very interesting stock it just sold off and you know just a very volatile stock to trade I guess I'll do it from this point no that looks kind of weird this is it right here and I traded it because it was selling off and it looked like a potential morning panic bounce play and the 25th is going to be the save right here and I'll zoom in a bit closer since it was a setup in the morning I was in at 941 at 57 and this was a morning panic bounce play so 941 was right here and I got in at 57 why I've seen this a lot of times I was watching it here the initial drop and trend line break and it just wasn't able to bounce right here and when it essentially just sold off even more right here I was much more interested in it and then it looks like it was trying to bottom the volume was coming in and we were having a green candle as you can see this one didn't necessarily have uh, green candles unless it was trying to uptrend so it was nice that I was in it right here and I was trying to ideally sell this thing if it were to get to be wet I got out the next minute at 59.65, so that was at 9.42. This candle right here at 59.65, I got out roughly right here. I just didn't like the price action, and I was kind of worried that maybe it's going to be those type of things where it just really works, and then when it really doesn't work anymore, it sells off hard, and I'm not able to sell quickly. Wasn't too happy with that, and also it was pretty close to uh, the goal which was VWAP 60 cents at 59.65 I'm not too upset it did hold this level right here and it eventually did make a move above VWAP almost hitting 64 cents so there was definitely more opportunity with this setup and it could have been much more profitable but I had to trade this on Schwab and I had to pay commissions I would have made 26 bucks on that trade if I traded that uh, with an account using fidelity so that's another thing to take into consideration this week could have been a lot more profitable but i'm happy that i still traded it and maybe god willing i can be able to trade something like this again in the future and i can have much more money involved and be much more profitable let's look at hoth on the 26 and this one did not work out 26 is going to be right here and this one had news uh, not necessarily the best stock, but it had some kind of news, and this one just sold off on that news, probably because of the fact that it just had a gap up, and it just got sold into. Let's look at it right here at 9.35, I was in at uh, 2.44, and this was a morning VWAP hold, so yeah, 9.35 was right here. This green candle at 2.44. Why did I get in this? Well, it had news. It was on a gap up. It was up trending. And then when I got to the point that it opened above the web, I was interested in it because it could have been like a sign that it was going to continue in the morning spike on top of the gap up and really uptrend. And it just wasn't able to, but it could have worked out. I did get out the same minute at 2.40, so very close to my entry. And I got out of it because I just didn't like the price action. It gave me a vibe that, you know, even though it opened above VWAP, it was just going to uptrend a bit and then sell off massively. And that's what I ended up doing. And that's why I put that this setup really didn't work out because it didn't really uptrend. 
you know it just sold off eventually and it sold off pretty hard with that big red candle right here that would have been very um, easy, easily you know something to end up losing a lot of money trading so that was the case with that one and let's look at the last trade HILS on the 26th I traded this one today 26 is going to be right here uh, a bit of a sell-off day right there but in theory it was nice because it had like I believe it had news or if anything it was just up a lot on the day and I wanted to trade that momentum was in at 9.35 let's just say 110 and this was a morning spike both legs so yeah 9.35 was right here this green candle and I was in at roughly 110 and it does look like a both leg nice uptrend and then it sells off and then it looked like it was going to be something where it was going to potentially turn around especially with VWAP in mind you know just a quick dip under VWAP and then it could regain itself that was the idea with this trade right here didn't like the way it spiked I got out the same minute at um, 113.88 9.35 so I got out right around here and I was in it right here I didn't like how it just had this little thing where I've seen this happen where it just tries to uptrend a little and then it just sells off and fails it did try again here but then it eventually did break uh, this bottom candle or at least this bottom point of the candle 107 and it got to the one dollar level and it, it did try to hold around this level but it sold off eventually I wasn't able to find news with this it was just up pre-market and you know I thought that momentum could continue there was another one that did work out today and this was a bull flag setup as well and this one actually worked out this one right here with CXAI so you can see it had like the sell off right here held itself and then it broke the level and it got as high as um, the 11s so that was actually much more profitable but at least I tried this one right here and that's it for this uh, weekly recap right here I'm gonna start to consider doing longer term stuff I haven't really put too much thought into it I have organized my e-trade a little bit so I could in theory consider options trading I also have like some charts on the other screen that's not being recorded here that's it for this weekly recap right here